In many places, the birth rate per woman has dropped below two for decades now. And soon, the population of many countries in the world will start to actually shrink. This is a huge deal because the past 200 years, economic growth and technological progress were enabled by a growing human population. Today, the majority of our society's infrastructure is designed for a growing population and the coming demographic crunch that is likely happening in the next few years is creating a lot of uncertainties. This transition from a world where population grows to a declining one will likely create countless challenges. The first obvious one is on the healthcare side and how to sustain a health system where there are more old people than young people. The second obvious one is on the financial side and how to enable retirees to live properly once they stop working. But you have many more components that will be impacted, like real estate, tourism, and even others that might not appear as critical, such as entertainment. There are so many aspects that will be impacted by the demographic crunch that it's impossible to explore them all at once. This is why my approach is to go step by step and to tackle one component after the other, starting with financial retire tech. By financial retire tech, I mean all the software and services that help people who are working to prepare financially for their retirement. And once they are retired, how to spend and keep investing what they have saved. As we will see with the startups and trends that we will cover in the next videos, a key component of the financial retire tech stack are the retirement saving plans that many countries have in place. Most of these retirement saving plans are based on the same mechanics. They offer tax advantages to the saver and to the employer who contribute to it. For example, if, as an employee, you put money into a dedicated retirement plan, then you will pay less tax on this money. And your employer can also contribute to a certain amount on which they will get tax benefits as well. Of course, all of this works under certain conditions and there are plenty of specific cases or constraints for each country. But the overall mechanism of getting tax benefits is behind most of these plans, whether it's the 401k in the US, the PER in France, or the SIPP in the UK. As we will see in the next videos, many products in the financial retirement stack are using these retirement saving schemes at the core of their product. 